it's almost a cliche to say, but no two patients are the same. By definition, a healthcare professional, a family member, can't know exactly what a patient is going through. And it's only by putting them at the centre of what you do, medically in terms of support from family and friends, in terms of conversation more widely, if you're an employer, for example, it's only if you put patients first, that they have some sense, not of control, because you can't control your illness, but doing what they can to cope with the lack of control they've inevitably got when they're ill. Well, the great value of this conference, the reason I wanted to come and speak, it seemed, was that you're bringing together the research charities who are doing so much work to try and find cures, to find amelioration, if you like, for patients, along with medical professionals, along with people in the pharmaceutical industry, but critically with patients. So you are hearing not just about how you should put patients first, you are hearing from patients too. As we can see behind, there's a chance for people to meet and network behind the scenes. Keep having the conversation is the answer. Phrases like put patients first, there's always a risk that they're a slogan. They're something you put in your letterhead or you put on a poster or you put as the name of a conference. The key is to prove that you mean it, is to show that even when people have left this conference, that's how they think. It is their instinct as to what needs to be done. And they're always asking themselves a the question, what they do, whether as a healthcare professional, whether as a research charity, whether as uh, family or friends, how am I putting the patient first?